Welcome back to my channel. It's going to be another storage auction video today. I just bought a 5x10 unit and I paid $10 for it. Uh, unfortunately, it's raining and it is an outside unit. Um, so I'm just going to pack this stuff up real quick and take it home and sort through it. But I will go ahead and show you uh, what the unit looks like. Lock is a bit stiff. This was an online unit. And so uh, they put a combination lock on them. Got the tamper tag there, which I just cut. About to have our first in-person look at this thing together. All right, got a rug there. Look at that, a brand new padlock. Got the box spring, that's why nobody wanted to bid on this unit. Uh, looks like we got some Nice, decent looking totes back in there. Some clothes, some tools maybe. Got some sunglasses up here. Got a GPS unit. Nope, just a box. So a lot of good stuff here. Like I said, because of the rain, I'm not gonna spend too much time going through stuff here. I'm just going to pack it up real quick and I'll go through it at home. If I do come across anything exciting though, as I'm packing it up quickly here, I'll pull out the camera, let you know. Otherwise, we'll go through it once I get back to my house and we can be out of the rain. As I was moving some of these bags, I just uncovered this toolbox. Looks like it's, I mean, almost brand new. Don't know that brand. Tractix, I think. Again, not familiar with the brand, but let's see. It's really heavy. All right, full of tools up here. It's a GK socket, Husky. All right, that's pretty good. No, oh, I guess that, yeah. All right, oh, we got screwdrivers in this drawer. Pliers in this drawer. Wrenches down here. Hyper tough, great neck, not too great. There's quite a few craftsmen in there as well though. Um, Again, I just paid $10 for this entire unit. So just the toolbox by itself, I mean, I am well ahead already. Not bad. I just wanna show you guys some more things that I'm finding as I unload this. Um, this tote was only like half full, open it up. I've been putting stuff in there. You see like I got Duralast socket set there. There's another just cheap Pittsburgh uh, combination wrench set down there. And then as I, move some of the stuff that was all like trash piled up here i'm finding some good stuff buried like here's this okay that feels like it's mostly empty but we'll take a look and see yeah that is mostly empty kind of rusty too but like there's there's a tackle box there still buried there's this milk crate here who knows what else might be in there so uh i will uh keep on digging here and see if we can uncover something else Okay, here's that tackle box. Finally got it out. Open her up and see what we've got. Empty, it looks like. Oh no, there's stuff in the bottom. Okay, got some weights there. Down here, some miscellaneous tackle. So nothing incredible in there, but not a bad little pile of things. And the tackle box is pretty nice. So not a bad find. All right. Um, that's kind of where we're at right now. There's a decent broom in there. Jumbo sumo match. That doesn't look dangerous at all. We've got some sort of little inflator, car inflator right there. Got some fishing poles, some camping chairs. Just odds and ends. All right, I'll pack this stuff up and then we'll go back to my house and sort through it. Guys, I just found this. There's this little, uh, there's a Gerber knife box here. That's empty. This has got some weight to it though. I'm hoping it's actually in there. I've got a buck knife box. Try to open it without damaging the box too much. Hard to do with one hand. I got my tripod today, oh yeah. There is scabbard, 
something else in there. It's the knife. All right, yeah, the book knife is in there. Fantastic. There's a receipt from Walmart in there. The folding knife was... It's like $34. Not a bad find out of a $10 unit. Not the best find, even, but a good find. Here's another pretty good item I just uncovered at the back. The uh, Sate Light uh, Warning Triangle Kit. These things are like 25, 30 bucks new. And this is, you know, it doesn't look like it's ever been opened. So, you know, even if I get 10, 15 bucks for it, that's more than I paid for the unit. So, another pretty good find. Here is everything all loaded up in the back of my minivan. It is a full load. Uh, and again, just $10 for all this stuff. It was a great purchase. Um, we won't know for sure until we go through the stuff back at my house. There's a lot of good stuff here. Very happy with this purchase. First thing we'll go through will be this uh, red suitcase here. We'll have to look into it. Another screaming meanie. Some batteries. Some pens. Some more batteries. Some more perfume. Actually, I'm going to grab some gloves. I forgot. All right. Better equipped. Got a little uh, key ring with a key on there. Set that aside. It's like a luggage lock key. Oh, there's a, there's a little luggage lock. Let's see if that's the key for it. It is. All right, nothing else in there. See what's actually inside this thing. Nothing else in there. Some bungee cords. I don't know what I would do with this if it wasn't there, but... Not a problem, because it's not. Wireless charging power bank. Hmm. That's interesting. I think this goes with this. Like that. I'll look that up and see if it has any value. Paperwork, iPhone case. Feels pretty heavy. Just paperwork in there. Oh, hey, look. Earbuds. Hmm. Well, that's nice. Set those aside. Got a jewelry box here. Anything in it? $48 price tag, but nothing actually inside. Anything else? Get some tools. No name brand on that. All right. Well, I'll sort through the rest of that stuff and uh, I'll let you know if I find anything exciting. All right. Here's a little pile of everything that I kept out of that unit or out of that. Uh, sorry, out of that um, suitcase here. The suitcase was actually pretty clean, uh, so I'll keep that to sell. I got the cheap little tools here, not worth a lot of money, but I'll keep them to sell. A little watch, get the fuses, 
this little coin uh, bag there. These are alarm clocks, uh, and if they work, uh, used even on eBay, I mean, they're supposed to be the world's loudest alarm clock. Um, if they work, I, I should be able to get, you know, say 10 bucks a piece for those used. Um, they seem to be selling pretty well on eBay. I was looking at comparables. Got a, an oil filter there. That's new. Uh, this is a winning lottery ticket. A little scratch-off ticket. It's worth five bucks. Uh, I, I'm sure it's expired and out of date. Probably no good. Uh, and then the, the a reminder here to always check your, uh, uh, Paperwork, as I was going through the paperwork, found that. So, if that really does have $50 on it for L.L. Bean, that's probably going to be one of the better finds out of this unit. So, always check those cards. Not often that you find stuff in them, but every once in a while. Alright, here is the first of two totes. Um, I know for sure I threw stuff in these totes. But, like I said, it's been a couple of days, and I don't really remember what. So, let's take a look at them. Got one minute epoxy. Okay, this I know I dropped in here. This is a decent little find, though. Got your trailer hitch. With a ball on it. Looks like we got some tools, some hats some jewel stuff. Again, I don't know what I would do with stuff like that. Uh, we've got an iron, Black & Decker iron. This John Wayne mug goes in there. A really cheap razor knife. And then underneath it all, it looks like there's clothing. What was this? I think we opened this up there. Got a uh, pair of Exolite screwdrivers. Not familiar with that brand, but I'll look them up. All right. Yeah, and then looks like clothing down in there. I'll go through that. If I find anything exciting, I'll let you know. There was nothing else too exciting in that last tote. The most valuable thing in there was probably that set of um, nut driver, like screwdrivers. Uh, those might be worth. There was a, a similar one for sale online for um, $50. So, got some wiring connectors there. Giant pencil. This is, looks like it's Empty. Alrighty. Here's one of them though. Some cough drops, some air fresheners, got some cutting wheels. I think we opened this down there and it was mostly missing. Yeah. But I might have those tools in the toolbox, so I'll set them aside. Several cutting discs. Rechargeable batteries. Instant fix. Got a uh, flash light here. Some Tupperware. Some tape. Got these Duralast tools. Probably not too valuable, but mostly complete, it looks like. It's like kind of just odds and ends down in there. I'll go through this. If I find anything exciting, I'll let you know. All right, I'm about to get into this toolbox and begin to sort through that. Uh, it is going to take some time, uh, so I'm going to do that, and then when I'm done, uh, I'll show you anything interesting that I find in here, anything particularly valuable. You know, these tools, 
you're looking for name brands, looking for uh, more valuable items. And I'll show you if I find any. After sorting through that toolbox of tools, I didn't complete any of these sets, but I do have this you know cardboard box now full of uh, full of hand tools, which I'll be able to find some way to sell. And then down here, uh, this is the only uh, tool out of that box I'm going to put on eBay. A green Lee cable cutter. I should be able to get you know, 10 bucks for that on eBay. This is a milk crate of odds and ends, tools and stuff that I picked up um, off the floor in that unit. Threw in the milk crate because it was convenient. The one thing that was n notice or interesting, notable I should say, uh, was this pill bottle because it had a partial roll of quarters in it. Um, but other than that, just kind of more of the same, you know, tools and, and odds and ends. I just counted that roll of quarters. It was six dollars and fifty cents in that partial roll, and so again, I only paid ten bucks for the unit, so not a bad little find. One more thing here that I wanted to show: uh, these are ratcheting load bars, and uh, these are actually what I saw in the unit that made me uh, interested in it. Um, that. Box spring, of course, was the detracting factor, which I think kept everybody else away. But when I saw these uh, in there, I figured, hey, this is worth the 10 bucks. I mean, obviously, worth well more than that. Um, and so, two pairs of these things, not a bad little find. The most valuable single find uh, in this unit was uh, that gift card for $50. I did sell that knife, some fishing tackle, and some tools on eBay. Made about $100 on those items. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to see more content like this.